San Jose police releasing new details in the shooting of Kayon Green, the man who disarmed another man during a fight at a downtown Taqueria. Good afternoon, I'm Lynn Keyes. I'm Amanda Starr and Tino Ann Makovic has new information from the live news desk. And police basically chalking this up to what is a misunderstanding. We're going to take you through it, but we want to warn you that the video you're about to see is disturbing. New footage released from the San Jose police showing Kayon Green emerging from La Victoria Taqueria with a gun before being shot four times by officer Mark McNamara. Now Green survived. He was released from police custody when police say they realized they had actually that he had actually taken the gun away from Brian Carter, the man who came in with it moments earlier when a fight broke out between two groups of men at the Taqueria. In a video released today, a spokesperson explains how the trouble downtown started with a homicide nearby just before the Taqueria melee. And when they got the call about the fight, they thought the two were related. Officers believed the incident at the restaurant could involve the outstanding homicide suspect. A group of officers immediately proceed to the restaurant to contact the gunman and stop the potential loss of life to fleeing customers in accordance with their active shooter training. Now, Carter, the man police say brought the gun into the Taqueria, was arrested for being a felon in possession of an unregistered firearm. The police, the district attorney's office, and the San Jose City Attorney are all still investigating this case. The officer who shot Green is on administrative leave. Back to you.